Okay, loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and I love you. Return to subscribers, y'all should keep doing G for me. I also love you guys too. Before we get into this video, guys, please tap the link I'm going to pin in the comment section to subscribe to our second channel, Exotic Tea Blog Reloaded. I'll be posting every video on that channel, so y'all should have I'll go over there, subscribe, wait for me, because the tea is hot. But let's quickly get into today's tea, and y'all should sit tight. We have to start off with Beyonce and the Beehive crashing out, out like they going outside. I mean, Beyonce, not really, but the Beehives are coming outside. Beyonce again was snubbed. Beyonce received zero wins despite being nominated in 17 categories at the People's Choice Country Awards. Okay, this is what they call humbling. They humbled her. Okay, <laughs> y'all shouldn't come for me, Beehive, but let me just let y'all know how I feel about it. Number one, do I feel like um, she deserves a country music award? No. No shade to Beyonce. I understood she made a country album, but she did not make country music. This is like her coming to snatch the people that have put in their work into country music for a very long time. That is why I feel like she did not deserve to win even the country music award. Okay? But 17 nominations is wild. 17 nominations. Y'all should have given her like one. Even if it was for the least category, like y'all should have given her like one. Ain't no way y'all would nominate her 17 times and she ain't got no win. Okay? That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Even if I feel like she did not deserve to win no country music award, I mean, y'all should have given her one. One would have made sense because, I mean, ain't no way you would nominate somebody um, 17 times and the person wins nothing. That doesn't make sense. If y'all give her like seven or eight, ten nomination, make more sense. But y'all not giving her nothing after nominating her 17 times. I think that's crazy and hatred. Okay. But I mean, she deserves to win at least one with this nomination. But I don't think she should have won anything at the Country Music Awards. That was why they didn't even nominate her. Okay. I feel like she's coming to snatch in um some people's opportunity and time they've put into work on their country album and she came with her audience we know she's got fans globally and they do not listen to country music they only supported country music because she was doing country music right after her beyonce album i don't see no um other beyonce fan that is going to listen to country music or the other country artists that is why i feel like um she actually didn't deserve to win no country music award but y'all gave her 17 nominations and y'all didn't even give her one i think that is wild i think that is wild and this has the beehive crashing out online they are coming out sad they are calling out the country music awards and the people choice country music award they're calling them out they are really really coming out sad and do i feel like beyonce cares i think she cares at this point they're playing on her face they are playing on her face but i feel like she should wait for um the grammys and so she can sweep some wins. I think she would sweep more wins at the Grammys. I don't think um this country I want to favor her. Okay? But I think she's sad too. But you guys should let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment. Moving over from there now to the Queen of Rap, Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj confirms that the Pink Friday 2 era will officially end with the last dates of the Pink Friday 2 World Tour. And the last date is in Queens, New York, October 11th. So you guys should let me know if you feel about it down below in the comments. That is the last day of this era. So you guys should let me know. How do y'all feel about the Pink Friday 2 era? What do y'all think? Was it successful? Was it smooth? Was it good? Or was it a flop? Let me know down below in the comment. Definitely not a flop. It was a bop. The era was something most of y'all fifth can never ever do. Okay, when it came to the sales for the album, she organically did 328k first week. But we know how Billboard plays in her face. They took out a whole 100k. This rap flops cannot sell. Out of the album, and she did 228k first week. That was still a bop, a milestone y'all faves can't afford to reach. Okay. They cannot. She did the first day highest streaming for a female rapper with the album. She stayed on the number one spot at the Apple Music album charts for 36 days. She stayed at the number one spot for 36 days without going out. Okay, she is the second artist to do that. 
Caesar SOS was the first. She is the second with the Pink Friday's album. We have Billie Eilish, Sabrina Carpenter, Taylor Swift with their albums. Beyonce with her album still couldn't top Pink Friday 2. So Pink Friday 2 was a top charting album. It was a good one. Okay, the album was a 10 out of 10. When it came to selling the nail line and also the perfume line, Nicki Minaj did phenomenal. I mean, the Pink Friday 2 era was phenomenal with the tour, everything. A 10 out of 10. You guys should let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment. And also, Nikki lately has been showing love to Rihanna. Okay, she posted a new picture on her Instagram story with the station head link. And people was like, oh my god, what is Nikki doing? Is Nikki kind of teasing something? Is Nikki like pushing something? Is she telling us something? And when I saw it, I was like, God, I was like, damn, this is going to have the beehive crashing out. Okay, because they know Riri is Beyonce's up. And they do not want to see Nicki Minaj post Rihanna. So Nicki posting Rihanna is going to set them on a frenzy. Being the fact they claimed Nicki's shading on Beyonce when she called out Robert. Okay. And also Nicki interacted with Rihanna once again. She responded to Riri posting up her baby um, boy. And she talked about how Papa B is almost the same. And I mean, y'all can post with it. I mean, Nicki kind of teasing something. I'm not going to be mad at Nicki and Rihanna doing a collaboration. But I, I can still feel like this is genuine. Because I like Nicki Minaj and Rihanna relationship is way better than Nicki and Beyonce okay Nicki and Rihanna's got a good relationship and I've seen um several times Rihanna likes Nicki post Nicki loves Rihanna post I barely see Nicki Minaj likes Beyonce post okay I barely see that she happened so Nicki has a stronger relationship with Rihanna and Nicki wanted Rihanna on the Pink Friday 2 album so if we get it Riri on Pink Friday 3 that is going to be gagging okay that is going to be gagging. I'm going to kill for that collaboration. I mean, I want to see these two women put out something. So you guys should let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment. Well, Nicki Minaj is out here clocking pop teens. They posted after 15 years, Nicki Minaj has officially ended her contract with the record label Young Money. Nicki responded to this saying, it's been ended years ago. Yes, you can read Yes, you can read my tweets, but choose not to. Sandals. And um, she also posted Beam Me Up Scotty credit. She said Beam Me Up Scotty re release was also through Republic Records directly. So Nikki for Mini hasn't been on Young Money. Has she hasn't been on Young Money? And I've been suspecting this shit for a very long time because I noticed Nicki Minaj barely said Young Money in all her intros. Y'all should kick back at all the records Nicki been put out singles albums the princess diana song she said heavy on it nikki barely said young money and if you can remember when nikki was the science young money she always shout them out on a single track okay so um nikki minaj been out of young money for a very long time and she is in republic records but not the streets is to do her master she still got it she choose and pick when she want to drop songs unlike this other rap flops so i mean nikki's out here doing big shit she's not just fully signed to republic records because if she's fully signed to republic records the republic payola would have been functioning on her it only functions on ariana drake taylor swift just few of their artists so if nikki fully signs to republic records and she is ready to drop pink friday 3 i mean she should get them republic payola okay they be giving drake that she giving taylor swift with that she ariana that she we also need it all those girls use payola i mean all the artists use payola Tay lady gaga and bruno mars that song is heavily pushed by payola okay no shade so if those girls can get it we can also get it but nikki clock the tea y'all should let me know about nikki not a young money and also the industrial plastic bag the face changing alien cardi b and her cupping weighs is back okay she um went to fashion week and definitely looking a hot mess because i do not really care about this mcgillie outfit she was out here copying Nicki minaj pose she posted a picture in the kitchen and this is similar to what Nicki did for rebel with the sleeves promotion picture so um the girls really be keeping tabs with Nicki minaj i mean i'm gonna say this any single thing this rap girl is doing now Nicki been doing it already they all are inspired by Nicki minaj they heavily look up to Nicki Minaj but they claim they look up to Lil Kim but you really look up to Nicki Minaj because I mean this is heavily inspired by Nicki Minaj y'all cannot tell me nothing I saw another picture of her carrying foods inside the kitchen I mean that shit is heavily inspired by Nicki Minaj you cannot tell me that this girls be doing this shit on their own 
just take a look at the pointy shoes okay now shade to the industrial plastic bag she looked a mess trying to um, mimic Nicki Minaj and trying to redo the Nicki Minaj stuff okay y'all shouldn't come for me but that is how i feel about it nikki the pink prince those girls are always a knockoff version of what Nicki minaj can be the delusional gang are coming out to say cardi b is a trendsetter she does her own shit she does her own shit but this is obviously a Nicki minaj shit and she's copying this shit copying Nicki minaj shit like she's been doing for a very long time okay so i mean i never take her serious i do not take the delusion of gang serious this whole um look this whole concept was um inspired by Nicki minaj except the wig and the outfit the outfit look a mess the hair look a mess but the concept of the picture definitely inspired by Nicki minaj okay y'all should be slow we're not going to act slow today okay i saw plenty of delusion again coming out to say well Nicki minaj been copying most of the things cardi b has done what has cardi b done that Nicki minaj has copied y'all ain't not gonna say nothing what has cardi b done that Nicki minaj has come to copy what let me know if you're delusional let me know down below in the comment this hoes has done nothing that Nicki minaj can copy and on top of that any single time they try to remake something Nicki minaj has done it always a knockout version it's never going to look expensive so you guys should let me know how you feel about this time below in the comment moving over from there cardi b stars in the official ad for the announcement of wwe summer slam 2025 as she's ready um for her album announcement so let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment so it looks like she's going to be offending the wwe summer slam it looks like she wants big promo she wants a single team she wants to push for her album so it looks like um the scripts are saying that she might as well announce her album at the wwe stuff um you guys should let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment i'ma say this i do not really really care about cardi b i'm making her big announcements i do not care girl when is you dropping the album let your fans know let's see how the album is going to do and what in this case the album title is going to be something like invasion of privacy i'm not saying invasion of privacy but she might do something like um I, I i don't really know but i mean what on the screen i'm not going to say nothing because i don't want to be out just speculating ish but yeah she might as well have the title somehow similar like invasion of privacy which i don't really care for but that's just what the script is saying but i feel like she should call the album the face changing alien oh she should call the album i'm um, cheating while prego cheating while prego will hit hard okay that would his hard. So Cardi V, take my advice and call your album Cheating While Prego. After Flop is going to be featured because we know y'all are running a PR um stunts campaign. Y'all be doing campaign more than Kamala Harris. No shade. Y'all be doing campaign for this album drop more than Kamala. Oh, uh, you guys should let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment. Are y'all excited? Cardi B is going to the WWE Summer Slam for promotion. Are y'all gagged to see her? And what do y'all think about her Fashion Week outfit? Because I look, they all, I think they all look a mess except the newest one. She has that um high hair and the bangs. I think that is the only one I can appreciate and give her her teens. But this other outfit, they look a mess. No shade. Let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment now moving over to bia i was going to do my review on my previous video but um the whole erman cardi b can barbie situation took um a lot of time on my video so i couldn't do my review and piss me off but yeah i listened to piss me off when it drops and i'm gonna give y'all my honest review y'all know how we get down on this channel honesty period okay so um i listened to the song first second time third time fourth time and i finally got into the beat and i'm gonna say this i love the song except um the part lidiati that doesn't have no talent in him with his auto tune started rapping he ruined the song for me but with the bs um first rap and her first line her first verse her flow switching i mean she ate it up she was even buzzing shit at an industrial plastic bag. So, I mean, Bia knows how to write. That is one thing I'm going to say. She knows how to write. Her pen game cannot be matched with Cardi B's and Partisan Fontaine. Okay? 
she knows how to write she really really is a writer so i'm gonna give via her teens for um her writing but the song i'm gonna give via um verse on eight out of ten the reality verse that's a negative two out of ten the complete song is a seven out of ten he ruined the song for me i'm not going to lie she would have kept him behind and put out the song solo because I feel like she was going to eat the first verse, the second verse, and the bridge. She would have done stuff like that. She would have left him at home, left his um, untalented ass at home. He's so, so untalented. And he came in swinging with, a, um, with an auto-tune voice. I think that was really, really, really disgusting. That's just my opinion. You guys should let me know how you feel about the song down below. What do y'all reach it from 1 to 10? Let me know. And also, Nikki came out here showing love to Bia. She played the song, pissed me off on her station head. So, I mean, if Nikki really check with you, she check with you. Okay? She really checks with you, she checks with you. And that was why when Nikki didn't come out to post scrap um what do they call her jt's song any song from the city cinderella album i knew something was up i just knew something was up so this is good this is nice nikki checks with beer beer's open up, opening up for nikki minaj and she's doing a big one okay beer's doing a great one on the tour and i'm gonna say this i would really really like beer to um have more success i'm gonna really really um see i want to see her on top i don't want to see her behind while she's this talented and she's prettier than some of this rap hoes okay but you guys should let me know if you feel about the song piece me off down below and this i forgot to say yesterday happy birthday to little wayne he just turned 42 okay i'm kind of gagged about the age though but happy birthday to him he's an icon a legend he has done several things he brought up Nicki minaj the queen okay so i mean happy birthday to lil wayne more blessing more love and also protection let me know if you feel about these topics down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and as usual thanks for watching